Cardinal Pell recently spoke about the proper understanding of the conscience with moral law. And of course, we talked about that on one of the shows. He cited blessed John mm -hmm. Henry Newman on a quote unquote miserable counterfeit yep. of conscience that promotes the right to self will, reinforcing that we cannot overlook revealed moral truths. Catholics are often told to follow That's their own consciences. Mm -hmm. And this is interesting, too, an uh, interesting point that he brought out involving sexual morality, but the same advice is not given to those who harbor racist attitudes and deny an obligation to help the poor. So why is this? I guess what they're asking first is about forming your right. conscience, and also it, it, at this point in time, are there certain positions that one can work with and other ones that one can't be open to working with? Right. I uh, know the question is good. And just to clarify one thing up front, mm -hmm. you know, Cardinal Pell in no way is taking an adverse position to Pope Francis in right, this exactly. regard. Right. He's he responding to a clarification of Amoris Laetitia, uh, which um, requires a clarification because it could be abused. Right. So uh, just in, in, in essence, the, you know, I think it's paragraphs 403 to 406 there where, you know, you know, conscience uh, is is set out along with pastoral guidance within the internal forum. You could give such a loose interpretation to that, mm -hmm. right, that you really would mislead uh, people with respect to the intention of Christ. So what uh, Cardinal Pell was trying to say is, look, in order to say to, to appeal to conscience, y you have to have two conditions in place before you can make the appeal. Number one you have to make sure your conscience is formed. That is to say, formed by what? Formed by the revelation mm -hmm. of Jesus and the teaching of the church. If you don't know what Jesus said, if you don't know what the church has said, if you haven't tried to form your conscience to correspond in some sense to divinely reveal truth, then for all intents and purposes, your conscience is nothing more than your self-will. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can say right now, if I had no formation of conscience, you know, I just really feel good about mass murdering of Martians. Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't like their color. You know, I, I think, you you know, you just, you know, that green, you know, I, you just got to take them out of the gene pool. And I feel great about it. My conscience says, okay, you know, but what would Jesus say about killing Martians? Let's mm -hmm. suppose they have a soul. What would Jesus say, uh, you know, about, you know, uh, t taking the lives, you know, of, of people, uh, you know, who are uh, technically innocent? What would the church say uh, about this? And, you know, vis-a-vis -vis the various mm -hmm. issues that you're questioning or brought up, uh, you know, the, the, the three quick things that are of, of real relevance here mm -hmm. are, yeah, the church has spoken on all of these issues, all of these, and Jesus has spoken on all of these issues, and that's why the church has spoken about them, and for all intents and purposes, we do have to take up those issues, we mm -hmm. do have to form our consciences, not only by looking at what the church says about specific issues, but what Jesus and the church say about the range of moral and doctrinal issues that were, as we call it, divinely revealed tradition. So uh, all Cardinal Pell is doing here is, is offering right, a, a, a clarification, a needed clarification to prevent a, a kind of an abuse mm -hmm. of what I would call unformed conscience and, and really moral relativism and subjectivism of the will, you know, that is to say by an unformed conscience sort of getting out of control right. and, and becoming the operative undermining of, of Jesus' will by setting out a Christian moral standard. Mm -hmm. So he all he's trying to do is clarify it. You know, I mean, this is one of the nine cardinals appointed by, mm -hmm. you know, Pope Francis uh, to be, you know, in the forefront of, of some of the reform uh, of, of the, the Curia. He's in charge of, of getting the Vatican Bank in order. Right, right, you right. know, so th this is not a person that Pope Francis doesn't trust or who doesn't trust uh, Pope Francis, uh, this is not like an, an infighting going on, some kind of political smoke. You know, essentially, he's making a 
very legitimate clarification of an important issue that did come up in a, a recent uh, post-synodal document called Amoris Laetitia.